up until the end of May's 2022 solar update. If you're interested in the system we have here, uh, please pause the video and take a look at this slide. And in the future, I am looking at doing a V2L stroke V to home um, system. And we're in the very early stages of planning it, but I do plan on doing it with a Victron Quattro inverter. Moving on to the actual um, home usage, we used 1,024 kilowatt hours. We had a high of 65.8 kilowatt hours, which is very high for this time of year. We had a lower 20.7 kilowatt hours, which gave us an average of 33.1 kilowatt hours in May. We generated 1,078 kilowatt hours, but we had a low of 15.6 kilowatt hours and a high of 58 kilowatt hours. 58 is far too much. I could never use all that in one day, which gave us an average of 34.8 kilowatt hours. From the power wall, we got 235.1 kilowatt hours. 86% um, of the power wall energy came from the solar and 14% of it came from the grid. And we averaged 7.4 kilowatt hours from the power wall every day. We had um, a net grid average of minus 15 kilowatt hours. So we gave away more than we um, pulled from the grid. But we did pull on the highest day of 39.5 kilowatt hours. Um, and all the grid pull, 56% of it went to the home and 44% of it went to the power wall. And that would have all been on low peak rates so um, 7.5 pence for us on the octopus go um, octopus intelligent tariff we were 95 percent self-powered during may um 72 percent of that came directly from the solar 23 percent of that came from the power wall and five percent of that came from the national grid if we had pulled all of our energy from the grid um, it would have cost us an extra 304 pounds so we had a saving for having the tesla power wall and the solar of 304 pounds and that's based on the octopus intelligent tariff um, our solar generation was 105 percent of our um, energy used in the home our solar breakdown from array one we produced 462 kilowatt hours and that's our feeding tariff um, array Array 2 did 454 kilowatt hours and the third small array did 174 kilowatt hours. So at the inverters we produced 1,091 kilowatt hours. The car charging we did 322 miles in the MG and we did 463 miles in the Volkswagen e-Golf. So that's a total for the month of 785 miles at a cost of £1.57. Um, 166 kilowatt hours of the 187 kilowatt hours that we used on car charging came directly from the solar because we pulled very little from the grid in may um, our average cost per kilowatt hour was 16 pence and that's excluding the solar because of the high daily charge rate on the intelligent octopus agile but when you include what we generated from the solar during the month that brought our average cost down to 1.1 pence per kilowatt hour our yearly averages are now 4.8 pence per kilowatt hour, including the solar. Um, out of the 1,024.8 kilowatt hours we used in May, 28% um, of the energy went into the hot. 28% of the energy went into the hot water of 284 kilowatt hours, and that was an actual cost of three pound and twelve pence. The grid export was 104 kilowatt hours or 10 percent and that would have and we gave that away at one pound 14 pence the car charging uh, from the grid was 21 kilowatt hours 166 kilowatt hours came from the solar and that was at a cost of one pound 57 there was no heating at all um through may so all the heating is completely off now um the cooking um, 18.9 kilowatt hours on the hob, 29.1 kilowatt hours on the oven, and the kettle and toaster used 15.9 kilowatt hours. So that was a total of 63.9 kilowatt hours for cooking. It's seven percent of the energy used at a cost of 70 pence. Um, the fridge freezer used 34.6 kilowatt hours at 53 pence, 
and the home and the general home the rest of the energy use was 302.4 kilowatt hours or 29 percent at a cost of three pounds and 32. And, and finally to summarize up until the end of may 2022 we've been grid free now for 51 days in 2022 the mileage total in the two EVs is 3,570 miles and that's at a cost of £38.12. pence. We've imported 5,119 kilowatt hours. The solar contribution has been 3,682.2 kilowatt hours. So that's a total of 8,801.2 kilowatt hours at a cost of £471.33. pence. The gas is cut off now, but up until when it was cut off, we'd used £21.96 pence worth of gas. And this all includes um, the daily charge and VAT. So we had a total utility bill up until the end of May 2022 of £493.29. We've had one fit payment up until the end of May of £203.60. We are due another one pretty soon. So that gives us a balance up until the end of May 2022 of 289 pounds and 69 pence including any daily charges and VAT for all of our um, home usage and energy usage thanks for watching if you've got any comments and questions please add it to the section below and I'll get back to you and I'll leave you with the energy usage on a day-by-day -day basis from the Tesla app